Health officials addressing a spike in overdose activity. The Cincinnati Health Department and Hamilton County Heroin Coalition, among some other organizations, sending out a public health alert saying there were 10 overdoses from January 23rd to the 24th. Nine on your side's Palosuro explains that the government shutdown also had a role to play. Jeez. Hank Nair is reading this public health alert. Oh, what catches my eye is that there was 10 overdoses in less than 24 hours. He reacts that way because he was in that position a few years back. The same week that my brother, we lost my brother to like a drug related suicide, you know, it was the same week that I overdosed a week later. And, you know, both my sisters almost lost both their brothers in less than a week. But now he's been clean for a year and speaks out hoping it will help. My life's beautiful. Like, the only way I can describe it is like complete and total freedom. He says a step in the right direction would be to make Narcan more readily available for people. Cincinnati has a huge community for treatment. There's a lot of resources that I don't think we're utilizing properly. And speaking of resources, Newtown Police Chief Tom Sinan with the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition says the government shutdown affected how much information the coalition could receive from federal agencies, such as the Office of National Drug Control Policy. When that's not operating, along with the Homeland Security Project we're trying to work on and trying to partner with, that holds us back. These are the people that do the day in and day out drug work. He says the coalition works closely with those agencies to get information on how they can better address the local drug epidemic. That's significant partners that we have and that's one of the things we were begging for was that help from the federal government. Begging so that people like Hank could get help they need. Paolo Soro 9 on your side.